knowing yourself, is the beginning of all wisdom. It is the mark of an educated mind, to be able to entertain a thought, without accepting it. Anyone can become angry, that is easy. But to be angry with the right person, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, and in the right way, this is not easy. What is a friend? A single soul, dwelling in two bodies. Wishing to be friends, is quick work, but friendship is a slow ripening fruit. Educating the mind, without educating the heart, is no education at all. Courage is the first of human qualities, because it is the quality, which guarantees the others. The wise man, does not expose himself needlessly to danger, since there are few things, for which he cares sufficiently, but he is willing, in great crises, to give even his life, knowing that under certain conditions, it is not worthwhile to live. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. The high-minded man must care more, for the truth, than for what people think. It is easy to perform a good action, but not easy to acquire a settled habit of performing such actions. I count him braver, who overcomes his desires than him, who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over self. No great mind has ever existed, without a touch of madness. The energy of the mind, is the essence of life. Happiness is the meaning, and the purpose of life, the whole aim, and end of human existence. A likely impossibility, is always preferable to an unconvincing possibility. Democracy arose from men's thinking, that if they are equal in any respect, they are equal absolutely. A friend to all, is a friend to none. All human beings, by nature, desire to know. Man is a goal-seeking animal. His life only has meaning, if he is reaching out, and striving for his goals. In all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. Those, who educate children well, are more to be honored, than they, who produce them, for these, only gave them life, those the art of living well. Learning is not child's play, we cannot learn without pain. He, who has overcome his fears, will truly be free. Excellence is an art, one by training and habituation. We do not act rightly, because we have virtue or excellence, but we rather have those, because we have acted rightly. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. The worst form of inequality, is to try to make unequal things equal. Pleasure in the job, puts perfection in the work. Where your talents, and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. It is of the nature of desire, not to be satisfied, and most men live, only for the gratification of it. Equality consists in the same treatment of similar persons. Wise men speak, when they have something to say. Fools speak, because they have to say something. Misfortune shows those, who are not really friends. 
happiness depends upon ourselves. All persons ought to endeavor to follow what is right and not what is established. Criticism is something we can avoid easily by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. We make war that we may live in peace. Friends hold a mirror up to each other through that mirror. They can see each other in ways that would not otherwise be accessible to them. And it is this mirroring that helps them improve themselves as persons. The aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind, next to honor. Dignity does not consist in possessing honors, but in deserving them. He who has never learned to obey cannot be a good commander. It is not enough to win a war. It is more important to organize the peace. The beauty of the soul shines out when a man bears with composure one heavy mischance after another, not because he does not feel them, but because he is a man of high and heroic temper. Quality is not an act, it is a habit. My best friend is the man who in wishing me well wishes it for my sake. This is the reason why mothers are more devoted to their children than fathers. It is that they suffer more in giving them birth and are more certain that they are their own. One swallow does not make a summer, neither does one fine day. Similarly one day or brief time of happiness does not make a person entirely happy. The educated differ from the uneducated, as much as the living, differ from the dead. All human actions, have one or more of these seven causes, chance, nature, compulsions, habit, reason, passion, desire. Whatever lies within our power to do, lies also within our power not to do. In poverty, and other misfortunes of life, true friends are a sure refuge. The young they keep out of mischief, to the old they are a comfort, and aid in their weakness, and those, in the prime of life, they incite to noble deeds. Every rascal is not a thief, but every thief is a rascal. It is the mark, of an instructed mind, to rest satisfied with the degree of precision, which the nature of the subject, admits and not to seek exactness, when only an approximation of the truth, is possible. Wicked men obey from fear, good men, from love. The least initial, deviation from the truth, is multiplied later a thousandfold. The more you know, the more you know, you don't know. For the things we have to learn, before we can do them, we learn by doing them. Happiness is an expression of the soul, in considered actions. Without friends, no one would want to live, even if he had all other goods. If happiness is activity in accordance with excellence, it is reasonable that it should be in accordance with the highest excellence.